Good evening, Kindred. It is I, Boy of Odin Maquette, and welcome back to Our World of Darkness. We are, we are doing a Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines playthrough for Clan Toreador. And uh, we just got done blowing up the, um, the Sabat Warehouse, and I believe this is episode 5. I also fixed the sound problems we were having on the last two episodes, so, and I don't really feel like going... I don't feel like starting the game over again and getting back to this point, so unfortunately that's what we're stuck with, but I promise it will not happen again, so. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? I know of him. Why? I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm. I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? I met your ghoul, Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. Hmm. You knew I did. I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. <clears throat> I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. Hmm. It sure did seem like he was expecting me. Well, let's, let's go with... But he needed my help. I killed an Asian vampire who was stalking him. No. You helped me remove a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Pretty good actor, <clears throat> that Knox, huh? Well played, Bertram. Well played. Don't take it hard, fledgling. I won't be the last elder to milk you for a favor. Want to ask you about someone else? Sure. What do you think of Prince LaCroix? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. Hmm. Yeah. What about that guy who decapitated my sire? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really. Except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. Okay. I'm out of here. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. I'm on my way. Oh, I need to feed. Let's go find some lunch boxes, shall we? Since I've got three accessible to me. Sometimes four if he has to pee. Besides, let's check in on uh, Jeanette, anyway. Gotta foster that, um, foundation. I missed you. Did you miss me? Terribly. Let me show you how sorry I am. Whew, I need to feed a lot. Daddy's here to get a little more sugar. <laughs> Wanna come play with me? As I said, I do. Okay, yes. Celebration! Special. Oh man, thanks again for your help.
Copy right flags now. Whatever. She's... She's not here. Interesting. Ooh, 3 XP. We can buy some more presents. That is... Interesting. She's not there. Interesting. Alright, well, let's go check our email and feed one last time on juice box number one. And, uh, and then we'll head on downtown and see what we can get from the prince. Juice box number one is gone. Ah, crap. I don't have anything to sell. Don't feel like we need the uh, the the um, for coming back. tire iron. What you need? Uh, sell something. All right. Here's what we got today. Sell. All right. Well, I guess that's I guess that's that for the time being. Let's head on upstairs. Drop some of these. Uh, items off in my fridge, I guess. Uh, I think that's the only storage that I have except for my mailbox. I think there's a glitch on... I don't know. I don't remember if that black box is meant to be around. Oh, good. First move. The White King moves to protect his pawn. All right. The Santa Monica Pier, where the body was found earlier tonight. Investigators say the scene closely mirrors those of slayings in Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the bodies of the victims were described as torn apart, though details are being withheld from the public at this time. Police urge anyone with information relating to this case to contact them. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked. Not Ash Rivers. He's my favorite actor. All right. Whatever. All right, well, juice box number one finally got his damn tow truck. So I guess we're done trying to feed off him. Probably because we got the two in a asylum or the, the game decided that it was time to have that move on. I'm not paying for shit. Where to? Away from here. Downtown. Hey, we get to finally get a new new map. Is this hood up? Strike. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, lick. <laughs> Eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. <laughs> Boys, I yeah, think we all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. <laughs> 
just he's just standing there with his arm outstretched. Like nines in the background. Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. <clears throat> Thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the Burbs. They remember you from the court. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Okay, well. Ugh, baseball bat. I need some Advil. Alright, let us get going, I guess. Get out of that first person mode and... Oh, did I not get a ghoul? Did I scare her? I, think I scared Heather. That sucks. My Torridor actually would have kept a ghoul. Hey, you were crying outside Gallery Noir. You look familiar, Chief. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? Ooh, I don't know what came over me back there, but... Now I got this sweet night shift position, and I'm happier than the time I met Superwitz. Ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You, uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Chief? Yeah, I'm here to see Sebast- I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Sebastian LaCroix. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Have a good one. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Did you say Chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh. Actually, uh, my fantasy football days at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. Right. Be seeing you, Chunk. Oh, my. Well, he is well connected, isn't he? Nice. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Couldn't hear it? Yes, that is... Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Hmm... Yeah. Your guy Mercurio screwed up big time. I had to get the explosives myself. Oh? Then I'll see that he's suitably punished. Nonetheless, you've triumphed. My commendations. 
Thanks. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Hmm. I guess? What exactly do I have to do? There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? No, I haven't. What about it? The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, Take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Uh-huh. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He asked me to visit him at the last round. I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. Fine. Give the Anarch community my regards. Okay. So yes, I know I did just throw Mercurio under the bus. But I was trying to think, uh, would any of my other characters that I'm going to play screw him over? And uh, since I did lose humanity in the process of helping him out in his own, in our in our own way, I decided that uh, a little bit of pettiness is really what was going to cause some uh, flavor when it comes to dealing with uh, playing the Toreador. So that was my mentality on that one. Speaking of, oh look, a strange glowing symbol above this building. I think this has something to do with the poem I read on my desk. Let us go find out. Hmm. Well. Gotta love this wallpaper. Ooh, a reading room. Look, amongst the books, a single book. Thaumaturgical creatures. I have no reason to take this. Can't enable. Greetings, Neonate. 
Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are... Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Thanks. What exactly is a chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Cool. And you're a regent. What is that? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. John Malkovich, by the way, if they ever did a Bloodlines video game or a Bloodlines movie, John Malkovich should play Maximilian Strauss. My opinion. Can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Okay. What can you tell me, Max? What's going on downtown? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. You invited me here, Mr. Clean. I appreciate the advice. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Yeah? Why? What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Hmm. Camarilla. What's all that about? The Camarilla. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. Hmm. I see. Can I ask you a few more questions about the Camarilla? Surely. What else would you like to know? Hmm. What do you think of Prince LaCroix? LaCroix is a prince, neonate, and a ventrue on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. It's all right. You can trust me. What's your true opinion of him? I have overstepped my bounds. I will say no more. Hmm. Actually, there was something else I needed. Of course. Maybe I could look into the epidemic for you. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. I'll do it. We'll figure out what you owe me when I return. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called... The last round. I'll remember that. I'll check in with you later. Well, I'm heading that way anyway, so yay me. Go this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. It's like the Lost Woods in Zelda. Alright, so let's, uh... Give this a little check. One point away! Yay!
The hell? Okay, yeah, we got a blood glitch. One of the NPCs just go nuts and start attacking people? Jesus! What the hell is going on? Every motherfucker in those checkered pants. Okay. I love the detail in this place. This place is awesome. So that chase you in here, Cammy? Why do you ask? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting as many long enough to get your back, Jack? Hmm... What do you mean again? Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for LaCroix anyway. Got himself a new errand for it. Did I do something to piss you off? As long as you're a tool for some cake, you don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. What's a cape? Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders. The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention. You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Hmm. What alternative do I have? You want an alternative? Being here. That's a step in the right direction. I'm Damsel, den mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the Floyd was in. Hmm. Pissed? You don't say. Drink some bad blood or something. <sighs> don't even joke about bad blood at a time like this. Don't you know we've got a plague bearer around here? Plague bearer? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We you can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. And that gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Okay, so how do you get rid of one? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Hmm. The Anarchs helped me out before. Where do I start? One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Hmm. I'll go check it out. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Sounds like a bag of laughs. Maybe I'll get to it later. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, host a child for Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? Funny. There's Nine Rodriguez around here. Nine is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your weapon. I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Okay. Yeah, all right. You got a few minutes to talk? What's up? Hmm, I'm looking for work. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. She's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. What's her name? Her name is Pat. She hangs out in the clubs downtown. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. 
was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Okay. Why don't you just tell her that he doesn't want to see her anymore? Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again louder. Junkie. Just gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. What kind of heat are we talking about? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me. Hunters are the kind of trouble you don't. Hmm. Alright, so your little problem with Patty. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret here. Hmm. I'll do it to uphold the masquerade. All right, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's silent. Just let me know when it's done. I'll find her and take care of it. See ya. I turned on the uh, subtitles since we're in a loud bar. You showed up. Good. Here's what I got to tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Go on. You've got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to as this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Hmm. This is all interesting, Nines, but I really do have... Nah. Aren't you part of the Camarilla? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. So what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. Anarch free state? The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Hmm. Not a, fan, not a fan of the prince, huh? No. Sounds like you're the prince of the Anarchs. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beat down. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bit it or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Hmm. Not a, the fan, not a fan of the prince, huh? The Croy represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Hmm. I've never hit that one, so without them, who would sponsor artists? You? Wrestling shows for everyone. The hell with you, then. You go on back to your tower. Say what you want about me, but not one of us in this bar is a no-good, two-faced, backstabbing, would-be tyrant like that son of a bitch LaCroix. He and his Camarilla are on borrowed time. You tell him Nines Rodriguez said so. Hmm. 
I find your gift for profanity delicious. Goodbye. Awesome. Pissed off nine. Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. How in Santa Monica, you know. I didn't get to do much sightseeing. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? You could say that, yes. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> Uh, LaCroix sending me to the Dane. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? What's up? The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? No, but... Eh. He told me enough. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Why? The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. He was sleeping this whole time? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. So he'll wake up and go hunting. It's more than that, kiddo. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end. The apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna. And the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Is this for real? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. Well, it could all be hearsay. Well, kiddo, I guess you're going to be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> why is the prince sending me? And why did he send me to Santa Monica? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. I don't get it. Why did he want to kill me? It's bullshit Camarilla law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. So how come I'm standing here? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vents are born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Is L LaCroix afraid of Nines? I thought he was the boss. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is the boss. <laughs> That's rich. Yeah, I think he's got a, that Napoleon thing going on. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free living vampires they need to be rules is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are so we'll all just jump on board. Who's everyone? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Hell that means and Those got a nice chick though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Tell me about the Anarchs. That's us, so I'm told. Would you wanna know? Who's your leader, Nines? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy, takes the politics a little too seriously though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain is wired to that shit. What about the rest of Nine's crew? Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. 
What clan is nines? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. All right. See ya. Thought I told you to get back to your tower. Run along. I think Lacroix's shoes need polishing. All right, I'd say that my uh, guy is sufficiently scared now. That's great. So I'm, I'm starting to get that storyline where I can turn against the Camarilla. Why are you a little chicken shit? Because I do have a big picture in mind for this. So the first thing that I can think of is, uh, let's go handle. What the hell are they? What's up with the NPCs, man? They're just killing each other. All right, let's go um, talk to Lacroix. Let him know what's going on with Nines. And uh, we go handle the Paul situation. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. Lacroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. Damn, Chuck. Give the Anarch community my regards. I did. Hmm, I did. He said some nonsense answer. I didn't listen very carefully. I'm gonna lie. I did. They said nothing important. How uncharacteristic of them. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. I am, but I had some questions first. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Uh, forget it. I'm ready to go to the Dane. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember... Under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Okay. Okay, so we'll handle the Paul thing. And, uh... I don't think I got any XP for anything. Yeah, we're at 14. Still one point away. Let's talk to the local street vendor, shall we? Player, what's the score? How they hang? Good evening and all that commotion. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac, the only store for all your needs after 10 o'clock. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T, because I know I got a weight problem and I just don't give a fuck. Also voiced by Phil Lamar, the same guy who did the drug dealer at the, at the beach house. Huh. You sell counterfeit basketball jerseys or something? Counterfeit? Man, I look like one of those peanut-headed rock-smoking brothers selling S-H-A-C-K shirts they made at their mama's house. I'm the real deal OG man in the alley with what you need. Counterfeit. Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> all right, all right. Why don't you show me what you're selling? Nah, now that's what I like to hear. But it's like this. I say my best up for select clientele. Now, that don't mean I don't appreciate your business. It's just, you know, business. Show me the merchandise. So, in other words, you will sell me better stuff as I buy stuff. Ho, 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 buy the gun. Ho, 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 buy the axe. Ho, 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 buy the claws. And saying that, we got a nice axe. We can go ahead and... What is that? Go ahead and sell the knife. 
I don't like that gun. Exit. Say now, brother. Seeing the kind of commando gear you been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? So? Wow, 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 uh, that's your business, okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little actions all, all right? What have you got in mind? Yo, I need a hardcore, massively bionic, two-fisted yo Jimbo for a supersized skull. Straight up, hundred million dollar movie gangster. You still with me? You've got my attention. Yo, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? I'll do it. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight out hard boiled terminator type. I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? Let's see what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and buy up as much as I can on that gun. Exit. And uh, we will handle that next time. For right now, we're gonna go handle the Paul situation because we only have a few. We only got like 13 minutes left to gameplay, so. Don't want to start something big and. However, the masquerade calls. What you guys doing? Oh. So you're kind of lightheaded, huh? He'll never know. Walking on a blowjob, what the hell? In an alley? <laughs> I knew you'd talk to me. I swear you were all like totally drawn to me. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the L.A. vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. Hmm. Vampire, huh? No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously. Everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Fine. Who is this lucky someone? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking. Dresses really well. Like all Prada, usually. Hmm, I gotta change my clothes. Hmm. I may have heard his name. Oh, well, he's pretty powerful. He's probably, like, too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. Hmm. It's been charming. Goodbye. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. Oh, wait. Kent? Actually, yes. I saw him recently. You are totally just goes to show you that you don't have to dress cool or have a lot of power to be a cool person. <laughs> so, where is oh. he meant? I just saw him in the alley. He was angry. He stained his loafers. Oh, that is totally Kent. He's so like that. I better go find him. He needs my help to do anything. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem. Just go on back there and He'll be looking for you.
Got a few minutes to kill. Um. I just wanted to see if you... Your voice was as angelic as you. It is. You are. Um, so, who are you? Call me DJ because I speak with my hands? I'm sorry, I like men. Oh, Everybody that sucks. That I tried. House rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Two more of these, and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess, and it's time to confess. And who am I about to have the pleasure of speaking to? Venus was her name, handsome. Got anything you want to confess, love? Hmm. Too much. Nothing I can talk about, though. Oh, no matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. Hmm. So what's your thing, hmm? Stealing from work, sex in graveyards, watching the neighbor's daughter with the lights off? <laughs> A few nights ago, the life I knew was obliterated. Hmm, sounds serious. I'm going to need details, so I know whether to pour a Hail Mary or a Highway to Hell. He's, eh. That warehouse that blew up in Santa Monica, that was me. Oh yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Since the minute you started moving your lips. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. Hmm. What's in it for me? Drinks on the house. For a week. I don't drink. You want cash? Whatever, I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? Definitely. I'll do it. Mm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel. Tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind. Just don't go starting any street fights, alright? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat freezers. Later, darling. Back in a minute. All right, well, I think we have enough time to handle the patty thing real quick and then uh, tell the Russians that they're not getting their money. Paul will have to wait. And our ghoul, I don't really care that much. I was kind of hoping she would have walked over there without me. Is that that dude I was feeding off of in Santa Monica? The hell is up with your face. Oh my god, she's so slow. Gotta wait. I thought I was gonna start rolling again. <laughs> I usually feed on her, but that was so much more satisfying. <laughs> if I lost two humanity trades for it. It was great. 
This one just one foul shot. That was so worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh fashion bitch send you. That she did. Money. Where is money? She told me to tell you she doesn't have the money. No money? No. Yeah, hey, no. I don't like you. Oh, that blood glitch is bothering me. There we go. I'll mess around with the programming later and see if I can figure out why it's blood glitching. I'm sorry. The shot, the <laughs> shot on Patty. Oh my God! What am I at? Oh my God! My humanity is six. I went from ten to six. Oh my God! That's hilarious. <laughs> Let's try her again. Oh, my, my presence is higher. Every last pound of you. That sounds rude. There's no one else at the bar or the city. I could say that, too. <laughs> Let me show you a trick I picked up recently. I don't know why. It just felt like feeding. What? I passed on your message. I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okay. Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. <laughs> Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get into the club business, hmm? I'm listening. Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris. And every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Go on. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck. That misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. Hmm. What's the catch? Boris is high up in the Russian Mafia. Does that make a difference? He's still human, right? He'll be dead before the sun rises. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to outsneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. When I get back, we'll talk about our club. So, um, that took a turn very quickly. Um, I think we're getting caught up in side quests, but, uh, I do believe this is where we're going to end it tonight. Um, 
Oh, sorry. The look on Patty's face when I pulled out the shotgun. Anyway, thank you for joining me tonight, and uh, we will be back tomorrow with more Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Torridor Run. I have been Voivode Maquette, and goodbye from our world of darkness. <laughs>